have seen, our little baby girl is going to be called Athena. Yes, she is. Oh my life, it has been so hard not to say anything because I really wanted to just do this video nice and obviously like get it up. So you have been waiting so, so patiently. So thank you so much. I know it's taken me ages to get this video done and up but I just wanted to like put a little bit of um, a background to mine and Ed's story and things if you haven't seen like any old pictures of us obviously like we've been together since we were like 15 um, so I wanted to obviously include a little bit more than me just sitting here but I will end the video obviously now with going through why we decided on Athena and why we picked that name for her. So this just real feels really like strange actually saying it on camera. I'm so relieved to finally get it out there. So also, this is the first video with um, my new haircut. You may have seen it on Instagram or Snapchat. Yes, it's very different um, for me because I have had quite a hell of a lot off, um, but it was just getting to the point where um, my hair is very damaged and also it's getting quite difficult to like blow dry it all the time and curl it all the time and everything so I just needed to have a lot off. Anyway this video is not about hair but there we go. So you have been waiting very very patiently for this video and I appreciate that it has took a long time to come so I'm really sorry about that but at least it's here now and I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all your guesses. You've done really really well and you've given us plenty of ideas in case we ever have another one. I did see the name of the lady who put it first and that is Rosalind Hawkins so well done and if you'd like to just send me your address um, over either the email address that is in the description of this video or you can send it direct message me on Instagram as well and I'll get a little prize set out to you in due course so well done very good guess <laughs> so why did we choose Athena there is quite a few different reasons for us why we chose that name and why we came to that name we literally didn't even have to discuss it we were both like totally set on it we didn't have a backup at all and we just knew like we we, we had a girl and a boy name as well but I'm not gonna say what the boy name was just in case we ever have another one and I'll do another name reveal <laughs> so yeah we were both completely settled on both names and this one was just just stood out to us from day one even before I was pregnant we both decided that it was going to be Athena um when if it was a girl like before way before you know when you're discussing when we have kids in the future, blah, 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 we always said it was going to be Athena. So it's never going to change. Like a lot of people have said, oh yeah, but you know, what if you say that now and you know, she doesn't look like an Athena or whatever. Well, she has to because that is what she's going to be called. So don't worry about that. It's not going to change. We haven't got a backup. So it is definitely what she is going to be called. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that we've been to Athens a few times now and we both really, really love it. We really enjoy going there it's just a real different different place to go diverse culture and it's a really pretty places uh, in Athens and we just both fell in love with it basically we also love Cyprus as well and all of that so it was just it just made sense and I just think the name is really really different and it's not one that you often come across here so we definitely just loved it so our love for Athens and Greece and all of that just came into play with that as well so in Greek mythology Athena is the goddess of wisdom mainly and a lot of people in my family refer to me as a wise owl because I'm always giving advice and stuff like that so and her sacred animal is also an owl because wisdom and owl and all that you know so yeah that is if you didn't seen a couple of videos ago I'd put um that we'd got her like a bowl and a spoon set and all that sort of stuff and it got a little owl on it and that was like a clue and a couple of you guessed it from that so well done she's also the goddess of courage and inspiration and arts and crafts and I really really love all those attributes to the name um me and like my family are quite artsy and craftsy as well and like obviously I'm photography and media and stuff like that which I love um, and Ed obviously has a lot of courage and uh, for everything that he does and wisdom as well and everything so us combined I think that's quite good like descriptions and I just feel like it's such a strong name like it really is a really strong name and we both come from strong families strong men and women in the families and it just it just makes sense like we just really really like it 
Ed also does have a line of Greek running through his family. It's his mom's dad's side. Um, we don't know where it originates from, um, but there is definitely a Greek there. His middle, his granddad's middle name was Theophilus, so there is a line of Greek along that way as well. So yeah, we just thought it was really, really different and just something that you wouldn't come across very often. And I don't think we're going to give her any middle names because I think it's just so strong on its own. There's nothing we can kind of like settle on that it would make a good middle name we don't we just think i just think athena cutler just sounds really strong really really nice it just goes and flows well and i just really really like it as it is so if you've been watching me for quite a while for slimming world reasons and stuff like that you'll know that it was actually athens that kick-started my wish to join slimming world and lose weight and everything like that um, it was because we were walking up to the Parthenon, the Acropolis, all of that, and I basically couldn't cope with it. So that's what kick-started my want to join Slimming World when I got home. And if it wasn't for that and it wasn't for Slimming World, then I would not be sat here with a baby in my belly now. It was um, all down to that that started my whole journey that you've watched every morsel bit of <laughs> if you if you're if you're an avid watcher um so without athens this would not have happened so it's only right um that we name her after it after it all because it's just a massive massive part of our lives and a massive part of my life so it's just been incredible and obviously she's been the miracle baby at the end of all the hard work because you know we in the end we thought we were going to have to have medical intervention with IVF and things like that and obviously we didn't because the weight loss because I started I wanted to start my weight loss from Athens um you know and then she came along naturally so it was amazing and um, you know, it all just fits. I know she wasn't conceived in Athens before anybody thinks that because <laughs> Ed pointed out, who could have think she was conceived in Athens? No, she wasn't. <laughs> it's just, there's so many things and like, I just really love it on its own. It's just such a pretty name. And yeah, it's very different. Obviously, everyone's going to have different opinions on it as everybody always does with names. But we just absolutely love the name and we wouldn't change it for the world. So... There you go, you know now, her name is going to be Athena Cutler and I hope you all like it. And yes, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for waiting. And at least the wait is over now and you all know. So it just, I can't wait to put a face to her name. So I will see you really, really soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.